Hey guys, Coach Rachel here. Today is the first video of uh, our collaboration series between myself and our catching instructor, Katie. Today, we're gonna be going through uh, plays at home between pitchers and catchers. Hey everybody, I'm back. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Katie McCabe and I'm a catcher at St. Louis College of Pharmacy. This week, I'm super excited to be doing a collab with Coach Rachel on throwing positions and pass balls and all that fun stuff. Get ready, it's another episode of Hempy at Home. Uh, a lot of times as pitchers, you're going to have one hit hard back to you uh, and the play is going to be at home uh, and we're going to be talking through sort of a slide scenario. So where the runner at home is not forced to home, but they're choosing to go home and you need to make a really nice lightning throw to a very specific location so that the catcher can make a great tag and get that person out. Like Coach Rachel said, a quick throw back from the pitcher is super important. It's a great play to make. Now it's really important as a catcher to make a good tag because if it's not a good tag, then you wasted a good throw. So the key to a good tag is quick, but controlled. You don't wanna be super quick and drag out your throw and drag out your tag because you're just gonna lose the ball or not make the out. All right guys, we're gonna start off this topic by talking about the location of your throw. Again, if you have a catcher, this drill will work best if you can throw your catcher a pitch, just like you normally would, they're gonna throw you a little grounder and you're gonna make a throw to them down at home plate. If you don't have uh, that opportunity, uh, I have a little net set up and I have this awesome patio chair cushion, which is my catcher or my target. And so I'm gonna be throwing to uh, this location. And pitch comes in, catch it, but she, or she hits it, right? She hits it right back up to the middle. Your pitcher gets it. Now you see that runner coming in. Now the key is not to lose focus on the ball. You don't wanna ever take the ball out of your sight. Yes, seeing the runner is really important. You wanna be able to see her out the corner of your eye, but you also wanna pay attention to the ball because if the throw comes in and you're not ready for it, if not one, but may maybe more runs are scored. So you wanna protect that. So your pitch comes in or your pitch comes in and she hits it up the middle, right? So you're quick up in your race position, but you see her coming, right? You see she's coming home. So you're gonna step in front of your plate Let's just say this is my plate. You're gonna step in front of your plate a little bit, but you don't wanna be completely facing your pitcher because how are you gonna make a good tag that way if you're facing this way? So you wanna be tilted a little bit, still able to catch the ball. You don't wanna be all the way turned around facing the runner. Turned a little bit, still able to make the tag, still able to get a, get a catch. So like Coach Rachel said, throwing positions is really important. If someone makes a perfect throw to the catcher and they make a perfect tag, it can't be, get any better than that. This location I have chosen because it is slightly, if I was the catcher, I'd be back a little more, not right on top of my plate. But as the catcher, I'm gonna have to step out to make uh, the catch or the play at home. And as a catcher, I can't get in the way of the third base line because I'd be obstructing it, uh, obstructing the runner that is. So I need to come out in the front and be nice and low with my target. That way I can go straight for the tag. So pitchers, you need to make sure that your throw is down and low. Sticks and stones will surely break your bones when you chat and your talk never hurts me. Sticks and stones will surely break your bones when you chat and your talk never hurts me. Sticks and stones will surely break your bones when you chat and your talk never hurts me. So, it's going to come in at a low target and somewhere on this side of your body. Hopefully not too far. As that pitch is coming in, or as that throw is coming in, you want to be able to see the ball but also see the runner, like I've said. Never lose sight of the ball. Throw is coming in. You catch with two hands. Now the key is don't let that throwing hand run away because you're gonna lose that ball on the tag. Two hands, you have both hands in your glove and the key is force, right? You wanna make a quick, hard tag. You want that umpire to see you make that tag and there don't wanna be a doubt in his mind that the girl is out. So what I like to do is I like to drop my, my left knee, the one closest to the plate. 
That way you get more force downwards and it's much easier to get from here to there. Pit ball's coming in, catch, drop that knee and drive that left elbow. Drive it down and quick. You don't wanna make a long sweeping tag because the ball is gonna fly out of your glove. You wanna make a quick tag, boom, and get the ball out of there because you don't want her to hit it because say she's sliding in, right? She could super easily just hit it out of your glove. But if you get it out of there and you have two hands, you're not gonna lose that ball and you're gonna make the play. There may be an instance where you will need to underhand the ball to home plate. Uh, maybe the person took a huge swing and it turned into a, a little dribbler that just came off the plate a little bit and you still need to be hustling your butt to get that thing at home. I'll show you what a flip version of this would look like. Pretend that is my ball. If you noticed in my uh, sort of release of the ball, when I let go, I sort of continued with the flow and kind of the momentum of my body. My arm did not pause. It came all the way through, almost like a little pitch. That's how you'll have the most successful kind of underhanded toss uh, when you're making a play at the plate. I'll show you a good example of a quick tag. All right, we're back in our plate. She hits the ball right up the middle. You're up in front of your plate, right? See it, she's coming out of the corner of your eye. Ball's coming in, quick grab, tag out of there, right? Make sure you're still surveying the rest of the field, paying attention. You never want to just pay attention to one thing because a lot of other things are happening on the field that you never want to just watch. You always want to be a part of it. All right, pitchers, here's your assignment for the week. We're going to combine last week and this week sort of into a, into a drill. You're going to do your regular pitching routine. You'll warm up. You'll throw your pitches, maybe you throw an off speed in there or some other special pitch if you're working on that. And I want you to end your exercise routine by making 10 plays to first base and 10 plays at home, focusing on the concepts we've covered this week and last week. Hey Katie. So this week catchers, I really want you to work on quick, hard tags, all right? It's so important. Even if you're not a full-time catcher, this is important for everybody on the field, right? You gotta make a, be able to make a quick tag and a safe tag. So, for those of you who aren't catchers, you don't have to drive, drop that left knee, but for those of you who are, it's super important to get that force down towards the ball. A hard tag is key. Good luck, everybody. <laughs> Catch with two hands. Alright, that base is yours. That's my house. That's my house.